truly pathetic you all are. Halt your futile attempts to protect yourselves from me. With the mere flick of a claw, I could level your village in an instant. But despite what you may think, I am not a mindless brute. I know of the struggles you all have been going through during this winter season, and I know you will not survive it. I offer a lifeline, a bargain, one of you to serve me, and I shall ensure the merciless winter spares your village. A single servant for the survival of your community. Not just any servant, though. I require someone who can endure my harsh reality. The Chosen One will bear not only their fate, but that of your village, too. Look at you all, trembling, eyes wide with terror, yet I see potential. You, the one with the stubborn chin, step forward. What's your name? Interesting. A strong name. One that holds the echo of resilience. You are the chosen one. Burdened with your village's hopes and fears. Understand this. I am not a merciful being. Betray my trust. Violate our pact. And the consequences will be grave. Your village, your families, will pay for your transgressions. The tearing of your flesh beneath my claws. The endless nights writhing in pain. A life of torment awaits you if you step out of line. The weight of their lives rests heavy on your shoulders. It's time we depart. We leave immediately. This is no time for parting words or tearful goodbyes. The path that lies before you is unavoidable. Each passing tree, each snowy hill, is a marker of your old life fading away. The comforts of your village will become distant echoes, replaced by the ruthless melody of the wilderness. It's not just the elements that will challenge you. Beasts lurk in the shadows, creatures as tormented and twisted as I, hungering for the weak. Do you see the desperation in their choice? The settlement? It's a gamble against the merciless nature. The biting cold. The savage beasts lurking in the shadows. They haven't even begun to understand the magnitude of their error. But they need not fear any longer. With your surrender, their folly is absolved. My protection is their shield, a deterrent for the creatures of the night. The village can sleep peacefully, knowing that the dire wolf watches over them. Your new life under my shadow will be unlike anything you've known. Fetching firewood in the freezing cold. Preparing meals with what the wilderness provides. Stoking the fires to keep the chill at bay. Servitude will become your existence. But it's not just servitude I seek. It's a companion in this solitary existence. You see, once I was not so different from you. A man with dreams, hopes. A life that made sense. I lived in a village not unlike yours. There was peace, 
A simple rhythm of life that was comforting in its predictability. But all that changed one fateful night. Under a blood-red moon. A night that seared itself into my soul, changed me in ways unfathomable. Legend spoke of a curse. A dire wolf spirit that preyed on the souls of men under the blood-red moon. It was considered a mere myth. A tale spun to frighten children. I was a man of reason, of science. I dismissed such tales as idle chatter of superstitious minds. That night, I felt an unbearable agony. A searing pain that went beyond flesh and bone. My body twisted and contorted in ways unimaginable. As dawn broke, I looked at my reflection in the stream. The man was gone. Only the beast remained. The transformation was more than just physical. I could feel my humanity slipping away. Replaced by a primal rage, a brutal instinct for survival. I was a monster, feared by all, including myself. My ruthlessness. My facade. It's born out of this struggle. The struggle to reconcile the man with the beast. The constant battle within me. The struggle to retain some semblance of the man I once was. I built my castle. Each stone a testament to my struggle. A monument to my lost humanity. It's a sanctuary against the world. Against the loneliness that comes with being a feared beast. I see the fear flickering in your eyes, the unease rippling beneath your skin. You fear the beast, but even more, you fear becoming like the beast. Let me assuage your fears right here. Right now, I may bear the curse of the dire wolf. But it is not a curse I can or would pass on to you. The last leg of our journey is about to become colder. Take my cloak. Let it shield you from the bite of the wind. Despite the harsh reality of your new life, I promise you one thing. You won't freeze. Look. Can you see its silhouette in the distance? Cutting against the white of the snow? Impressive, isn't it? Much like the creature who created it. Cold stone on the outside. But within, you will find what semblance of warmth I can offer. Life here will be different. Demanding. It will be harsh. The tasks I set before you, severe. But there is a peculiar sense of safety here, a strange calm within these rigid walls. We're here. Are you prepared? Ready to step into the life that awaits you? But before we delve into the nitty-gritty of your new duties, before I show you the corners of this castle, the areas that will become your domain, there is something I want, something I need. Servitude comes in many forms, and one of them is tending to the master's needs. I've been on the road for too long, covered in the dust of the journey. A bath is what I need. You might consider yourself lucky. 
In a way, not everyone gets the privilege to see a dire wolf in all his unveiled glory. An opportunity to witness the raw power that hides beneath these clothes. To understand the beast you now serve. 